Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use POA Network's Bridge without using MetaMask. First, I'll show you how to transfer native POA tokens from the POA Network to POA20 tokens on the Ethereum Network. In order to do this, you'll first need the smart contract address for the POA Bridge on the POA Network. You can copy this address like this. I'll click the bridge home address, and I'll copy the smart contract address here. Instead of using MetaMask, you can access your Ethereum wallet with MyCrypto and transfer tokens with the bridge this way. In order to do this, you must first connect to the POA network on MyCrypto by selecting the network like this. I'll select the POA network. Then you can import your account by selecting an import method. I recommend using the JSON keystore method this is the same as if you were going to use Trezor or Ledger. You can also choose another method like importing your private key, but you should be very cautious when doing this. I'll import the JSON keystore file from my computer like this. And I'll enter my password to unlock the account. Now that I've imported the account, I'll paste in the smart contract address that I copied in the previous step from the Bridge homepage. Again, this is the Bridge home address that you can see on the Bridge homepage here. Now I'll enter 1,000 POA tokens to transfer to the Ethereum network. Now I'll refresh the gas limit so that my crypto can automatically estimate the required amount. I would use this automatically generated value to ensure a successful transaction. But don't worry. If this transaction is unsuccessful because of insufficient gas limits, the tokens will simply be refunded to your wallet. Now I'll send this transaction. Now we can verify the transaction on the POA network by refreshing the POA Explorer's contract page where we copy the address. In order for the bridge to complete this transfer, it must also create a transaction on the Ethereum network. You can monitor the progress of this in two ways. First, you can click the POA ERC20 link on the POA Explorer page. This will show you the status of the transaction for the POA20 smart contract. For now, this is still pending. Another way is to inspect the transaction history of the bridge smart contract on the Ethereum network by clicking the bridge foreign address from the bridge homepage. You can refresh this page and wait until the transaction is complete. Now that the transaction has been completed, we can see successful transactions in the transaction history, and we can see a successful transaction on the POA20 smart contract page. And we can see our balance has been updated here. You can also verify your POA20 balance by visiting the bridge homepage and seeing your balance here. And that's it. That's how easy it is to transfer POA tokens to the Ethereum network with the POA network bridge without using MetaMask. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the next video in the playlist where I'll show you how to transfer tokens from the Ethereum network back to the POA network without using MetaMask. And until then, thanks for watching DAP University.